Hi, it's Andrew again. I am doing another tutorial today. Today it's going to be on taking a DVD and playing it, be, put, converting it into a file that can be playable on an Android device. Um, I'm going to be using my copy of Lucky Number 11, which is, you'll see here, it is a purchase copy from Blockbuster um, when they were going out of business, so I actually got it for less than that $12.99. Um, what <clears throat> you'll need on your computer, if you're using a Linux device, you'll need to download two programs. Uh, on a Windows, you can just download the one. This Handbrake is a cross-platform video conversion tool. It's free, and it's available at www.handbrake.fr. Uh, on Linux devices, like this is a Mac, or, or a Mac device, um, Unix devices, you'll need VLC Media Player. Uh, this will allow you to convert the files um, the DVD into a playable file. Uh, on a Windows PC, it's actually it's not necessary since Windows Media Player can handle those, uh, handle those file types anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up Handbrake. Um, you're going to select it from the source. I already have it selected. You just select the video. You're going to go here. Uh, lucky number seven. Select video and then hit open and it's going to load all the chapters and it's just going to pick out the core movie it's not going to you'll not have you won't have any of like the menus or the extra features on the movie it's just going to pull out the core movie no chapters or anything like that it's just going to have one file um, what I like to do since I also have an Android tablet a 10 inch transformer we're going to all, well, the file type that I like to do is just pick this uh, from the faults, Apple, and I pick iPad. Um, it plays on both my uh, Thunderbolt and on my Transformer just fine, but that's just my personal preference. Uh, the output file for me is just going to end up here on my desktop. Uh, you can select a place and rename this if you wanted to change it to something else. And uh, Picking this preset, it's it's very easy. You don't have to change any of the uh, settings or anything like that. And just hit start. Uh, on faster computers, it takes very sh uh, short amount of time. This is a dual core um, MacBook that's about three and a half years old or three years old. So this is actually going to uh, take me about an hour almost. See about 52 minutes. On my desktop, which is a Core i7, it takes about 15 minutes. And I love my desktop, and I usually do this on my desktop instead of the MacBook, but for this tutorial, I wanted to show you what you needed. So yeah, as you can see, it's got the uh, VLC Media Player icon on there, and that's why it's necessary for you to download that program as well. You can find the VLC Media Player all over. In fact, when you start up Handbrake and try to do it for the first time, it'll prompt you to download it. Uh, you can just follow the the link that uh, Handbrake provides you for your first time. And we're going to uh, I'm going to stop the recording now and pick up when it's over and show you when it, on the Android device. Okay. Okay, once you've finished re uh, copying your movie to your hard drive, you'll get this little notification to put down your cocktail your handbrake queue is done. Um, so here's your file. You can see it right here. We'll close out handbrake. Your file is here. So now how are you going to get it onto uh, your phone? Well, as you can see on mine, I have it connected through USB. And on the top, you'll see uh, USB notification as well as the debugging. That's because I have the debugging on. Just pull down the notification bar. Just select USB connected. Turn on USB storage. You may get another prompt. Oh. If it's your first time doing it, you'll get a prompt. If it's not, then it'll just connect your USB. And on the computer, you'll see that it pulls up. Um, in Finder, you'll be able to see mine is named to no name. And you can just drag and drop. Um, depending on what your phone is doing, it may take a few minutes, may take a few seconds, um, usually not too much time. Alright, 
that's it. My next video will show you how to connect a tablet to do the same thing. On a Mac, you'll need a special program available from Google to do that. All right. Have a good day.